In this video series, we're taking a look at how you can use multiple recordings of a lead vocal track to build a massive wall of sound just for the lead vocal. One of the crucial aspects of doubling or tripling or even quadrupling lead vocal melodies is perfection. It's getting the timing and the tuning right. In the last video, we had a look at how you can align all of your vocal takes onto one reference track, which really tightens up the sound of the lead vocal. So we basically took care of the timing. Well, in this video, we're going to take care of the tuning or the pitch. Now to take care of the pitch, first of all, you need to select an event and turn on Vary Audio. Now the vocals are analyzed and we get this representation of the notes that we've recorded. For additional focus, you can solo the part so that you're only focused on that one line that you're working on. Let's jump over to the line that we now recorded in the last video. This is all you want, so, it's all so we can you see all of the musical blocks there represented on the grid. But what we're going to try to do now is tune all of these vocals to each other. So I've selected all and I'm just using the quantize handle to lock them into that grid. I use the arrow keys on my computer keyboard to quickly move in between the notes and move them up and down. So it's a really fast way of editing pitch. If I need to chop a note in half, and that's just because the detection hasn't picked up that they're two different notes, I can just use the scissors. So just hover your mouse around over these blocks to get access to tools. Now there are plenty of videos online that show you how to use Vary Audio. But what we really focused on in this video is tuning these vocals to each other. So once again, I'm just using my scissors here to break this up into individual notes so I can really pitch and tune each one of the different notes that I've sung and I've recorded. I guess the biggest challenge is to figure out how synthetic you want your sound to be. In this case, I think it suits the production of the track. So I'm highlighting everything and I'm straightening this pitch now out, which gives us this kind of sound. So it's going to sound less organic, but it's going to sound really cool when I apply the same sort of pitch correction over all of these vocal takes. I think it's going to sound really contemporary. So I've moved up to the next track and of course, once again, I'm selecting everything. I'm using the quantize handle to make sure everything's locked perfectly into the grid and then I'm using the arrow keys on my computer keyboard just to move everything around and get all of these notes sitting in exactly the right place. So it's basically tuning each part to the lead vocal. So a lot of the time we'd be using Vary Audio to pitch harmonies. Um, so that's where the big difference is. Again, I'm using my scissors to just chop up any individual notes that Vary Audio may not have detected. So then I can just pitch them individually. So it's a really easy process. I guess the only thing is you've got to be quite fastidious about doing it for every single part. So there's a big difference between recording a vocal from start to finish and doing that over and over and over again to recording small segments of your song and focusing on perfection for each of those segments. I hate to say it, but there really are no shortcuts when it comes to recording vocals and getting it right. If I need to, I can compare two versions so two tracks or two of the recordings just by highlighting them both and I can see them represented down here in Vary Audio. So I can see where one part might be out of alignment with the other part and I can very quickly edit it. So what we're looking to do here is to have all of these parts as close as possible when we look at them both together. If you want to edit just one again, just click on the actual event been, itself out in the project window. I'm doing exactly the same thing for all of these vocal parts that I've recorded and I've sped this video up so it doesn't go on forever. But let's have a listen to how it sounds when all of these vocal tracks are pitched and tuned together. Now I can't believe you're saying this is all you want so it's all you get you. And once again, there's that kind of synthetic tuned vocal sound, but hey, that's the sound I'm going for. So I'm pretty cool with that. And I'm pretty happy that now, not only have I got the timing right, I've also got the pitching right. If you think you've got the whole thing wrong, well, you can always go to this little sub menu here and you can reset any of the changes that you've made. So nothing's set in stone when it comes to pitch correction. Another really important thing that you can do with Vary Audio is change the format, which is basically changing the tone of the vocal sound. 
Now, this is really cool if you're layering a number of different lead vocal takes because it means that some of these lead vocal takes can actually have a different tone or a different format, which makes it almost sound like someone else is singing it. So if you haven't yet tried the formant, make sure you go in and mess around with it and see what kind of sounds you can come up with. One of the really cool things we can do with Vary Audio is edit the timing. So we can edit the end point of a note. So here I'm just basically changing the end point and I can also move the starting point, which we shouldn't need to do too much because we've already aligned the starting point of the vocals using the vocal alignment. So this is more just to show you that you can get it as tight as you need. You've simply just got to pick up on the middle handle on the left or the right hand side of each block or event. Let's do a quick comparison. Here's before. And here's how the same segment sounds pitched. You came on like a heart attack. So that's cool. Everything sounds so much tighter now that we've aligned the audio and we've pitched the vocals. In the next video, we're going to start preparing these vocal takes for mixing. And we're going to start looking at how we can use a full stereo mix to get a really huge lead vocal sound. I'll see you there. You, I thought that we could be that thing. A thing that we could both believe.